Hello class, in this video I'm going to explain to you how to do the written exercises for the course. The first time this appears in problem set number one is on problem 1.7 where you have this little pencil to tell you there's some written component here. So I am on page 27 of the textbook here and this is problem 1.7 of the first problem set. What this problem asks you to do, it's sort of a complex set of directions. It wants you to pull up some sentences and a world in Tarski's world and evaluate those and see how they their truth values changes depending upon one's perspective and context. Um, so let me just walk you through this. The first thing you need to do for the problem set is open up a new document in some word processing program for the, um, for the written exercises. So put your name at the top. I'll just say Ian Schnee. And now I need to do exercise 1.7. So that's my first exercise. You can sort of make this nice and clear for us to ease our grading if you would like. Um, now I'm going to save this, and I'm going to save it as problem set 1 Schnee, and that's going to help us grade it. Now, let's, now that I have that set up, I'm going to put all of the written exercises for the entire problem set in the same file, and this is what I'm going to upload to Canvas when I'm done with the problem set. Okay, let's return back to the exercise then. What it says is I need to open some sentences and a world in the Tarski's World program. So I'll pull up the Tarski's World program, and I'll use my command O shortcut in order to open up Austin's sentences, it said. So that's right here, you can see. And here are the six sentences from that. And now I need to open up Wittgenstein's world. So I'll scroll down to the bottom here where Wittgenstein's world is and open that too. Now here's my world and here are my sentences. Notice going back to the textbook page, the truth values for the original orientation are already filled in for you. It says sentence one should be false and sentence two should be false in the original orientation, i.e. that's the orientation that the world appears to you as it's already saved. And indeed, if you click the evaluate sentences button up here, one and two are false, three is true, four is false, so I have opened up the right sentences in the right world. You should think through why that's the case. Why is larger A, B false? Well, because A is not larger than B, they're both small. Uh, why is front of C, B false? Well, C must not be in front of B. Indeed, B is in front of C. That's why that's false. But these truth values, some of these could change. When you change orientation, the front of predicates are going to change their truth value and right of and back of. But notice larger will not change its truth value. Why? Because rotating the world doesn't change the size of the objects. Okay, once you understand that, you've understood part of the basic point of this exercise. What do we need to do then? You need to, in your written file, create this little chart and you can do it however you would like. Um, you can just use tabbing or you can use some sort of nice chart form for us. So I'm gonna just write my six sentences here. Uh, feel free to use a chart because that's always nice and helpful. Um, so you can put in the original orientation if you'd like and then um, it's gonna be rotated 90 degrees and then rotated 180, and then rotated 270. Notice I'm just uh, doing the top row of this chart. Now the truth values here are F, F, T, F, T, F. So I'm going to just put that in uh, F. Oh, it's going to start formatting it for me. F, F, T, F, T, F. <clears throat> OK. I'm going to tab over it. Now, how do I fill in these values? What should I be doing next? Let me make this larger for you in case you can't see it well. Well, I need to rotate the world 90 degrees and then and then enter my values here. This is what you're going to get graded on. Reproducing this is helpful for uh, us, but this is not absolutely essential. You're going to get graded on how you fill out these three columns. So, uh, what I need to do is rotate it 90 degrees. Notice it says rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, because if you go into the Tarski's World program, you pull the window drop down menu where it says rotate. You can do it counterclockwise, but don't do that. You're going to get the problem all wrong. So let's rotate the world 90 degrees clockwise. Notice the truth values disappear because these sentences need evaluated again. Their truth values might indeed change uh, depending upon the orientation of the world. Now I'm going to just say evaluate all. Ah, look, they're all false. Ah, so what you need to do on your solution file, if I can find it, where is it, is uh, every one of my sentences. I'm going to tab, make tabs to make this look all nice, 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 neat and nice for you, the TAs to grade. And look, they're all false there. Now what you need to do is rotate it again. Let's go back to the world. Now keep rotating it. 
90 degrees clockwise once more. Now I'm at 180. And now put in how these, this pattern of truth values. Okay, so once you fill out that chart, that's part of the exercise, and you can save that. As I said before, you need to do the rest of your exercises in this same Word document that you're then going to upload in Canvas. Let's go back to the textbook, though, because we're not done with this problem yet. After you complete that, you need to keep going. Because it says, add a seventh sentence to this sentence file and try to get the rest of these patterns. Then it says, if you can get this next pattern, add an eighth sentence. If not, leave this eighth sentence blank. So in either case, you still need to add an eighth sentence. Indeed, uh, let's go down here to six. I need to add sentences. I'm going to just do Command A three times. You have to add nine sentences, or three more, to get nine total, because if you look at the bottom of this, uh, if you can get this last truth value pattern, add sentence nine. If not, leave nine blank. So this is what I need to submit. And you will add sentences, you will write things in seven, eight, and nine, or leave them blank, depending upon what you think the answer is to those patterns of truth values. Uh, and so once you're done all that, then I'm gonna go up here and click sentences, uh, excuse me, file, save sentences as. I don't want to modify my original Austin's. Did I do that right? I don't want to modify Austin's sentences. Uh, I want to save sentences as. Okay, it is going to look like that. So I'm going to just make sure I name this properly because this should be named sentences and then a space 1.7. Make sure you get this exactly right. And I don't want to send it to documents. So I'm going to send it to my desktop so that then I can submit it with my problem set. So notice now I've done everything I need to do for that exercise. Uh, and I've got two things I'm going to have to submit for this. I'm going to have to submit my sentences 1.7 file, and I'm eventually going to want to save this as a PDF and upload this to Canvas once I'm done all of the problem set. Okay, so that's how you um, tackle the written exercises and um, do problem 1.7. Thanks.